while nobody was coming in, while they were rummaging through her backpack. It was a non-profit. So it doesn't make any difference who it was that actually had their hand on the backpack. We were overall involved in taking it and making sure that the rightful owner didn't get it back. That's what it means when you act as a lookout. Let's do a quick little outfit of the day. Today I've got my short brown bob on, or my short hair or wig, and I have my brown satin pencil dress on. 
which is in the same style as my black and tight red one. Really cute. I paired it with my shrug top or bolero, which is also brown. Really cute. I'm going to have to take that off though in a minute because it's a bit hot here today. But I feel really pretty. In case you didn't know from that little clip just now, I'm a huge fan of Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 is my favourite movie of all time and that's why I've got a big poster of Prince Vigo from that movie on my wall and also on the floor you may have just saw a little bit of it just now and at the beginning of this particular vlog I have a proton pack. Now it is a toy brought out by Spirit Halloween, which is a toy company in the US. But there are also more accurate versions, which are prop replicas. But they are a lot more money and a lot more expensive. But just over there, on the floor, is my toy proton pack. Looks really good from a distance. Up there is my Vigo the Carpathian poster and a lot more of my Ghostbusters collection is upstairs and uh, next year, the year 2020, I'm going to be going to EctoCon 2020 which is a Ghostbusters convention. Um, I'm not going to be going like this in girl mode or in femme. I'm going to be going as my bob mode or um, my male mode and um, celebrate Ghostbusters. So that's going to be pretty cool. I might be going with my sister and um, I just hope, look forward to um, when this event comes. It's going to be in June 20th of um, 2020. So I look very forward to that. And yeah. So. I am an obsessed Ghostbusters fan, so please don't judge. Currently upstairs, because I want to show you how I tackle having two wardrobes with them um, being gender fluid. So now we are in my spare bedroom in my house, and we have a wardrobe just here, which actually has all my male clothes in. So in the spare bedroom, let's just turn this viewfinder here around, in the spare bedroom we have a wardrobe of all my male stuff, like jumpers, t-shirts, shirts, different stuff like that, suits and different things in there. 
and I like to keep both my um, wardrobes separate from one another. Just try and close this one. There we go. So that's my man or a male mode wardrobe and just there is my male robe or dressing gown. So then we go into my bedroom which is just in here. Of course I've got some stuff out here already for today. There's my wig stand and so I keep my feminine wardrobe in my bedroom and here it is here and these double doors. The dresses on this side, the zippers are broken on them so I need to get them fixed. Um, in the drawers I have spare wigs and some belts and a swimming costume just there. Down there I have a handbag. Down there I have my longer brown wig and there is all my clothes that I keep all together. Of course there's my bedroom door, I got posters and guess what it is? Ghostbusters. And of course over here is my movie collection because I'm huge on movies. I love horror films, comedies and different things. I love TV shows such as uh, The X-Files, Angel, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Doctor Who. I have Doctor Who just up here. Really cool stuff. Then down below we have my Ghostbusters, some of my Ghostbusters collection. And down below here we have some more Ghostbusters stuff. So this was mainly just a look of look at uh, my wardrobe and, and how I uh, have my setup of my male and female clothing. But I thought I'd just show you a little bit around. So yeah, back downstairs now, and here's just a. Quick little look at the real Ghostbusters, uh, real Ghostbusters complete DVD collection, which I'm currently watching it in the evenings at the moment. And out here we have more Ghostbusters stuff. Earlier I showed you my pack, my Vigo picture. Just there we have my Ghostbusters ghost trap and goggles, and my Ghostbusters PKE meter prop replica. Just there. Ghostbusters picture there, Bill Murray, and here we have some different bits that I'm trying to assemble a Ghostbusters uniform, and some photo frames of my trip to New York from last year, so that's pretty much my Ghostbusters obsession. The reason why this vlog is called 
last pencil dress for now is because I'm wearing my last pencil dress in my collection and I have the red one, the black one and this satin brown one so next time there will be something completely different I'm not sure on what yet but it's going to be a completely different outfit than a pencil dress so that's going to be really cool to look forward to but um, this is it now for this vlog I have one bar left on my battery so I might as well, my, might as well uh, end this video now I hope you enjoyed it so until next time bye bye and take care for now bye